What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Nord Trades and today I bring you another special video. The Sunday Stock Watch List where I give you all the stocks that I like, all the stocks that I don't like, everything going on this week including the economic calendar, you know, earnings if we have any, and just preparing for the week because you're not supposed to go into this week just playing new highs and new lows. I know you guys are used to that because of these other, you know, discords and stuff like that. That's what they teach you. You have to go in prepared. But before we go ahead and get started with this video, hit that like button. I'll wait for you to do that. Subscribe. Comment down below what other stocks you'd like to see on the channel. Maybe we have it on the same watch list. And maybe I don't have it on my watch list. And maybe I add it to my watch list. I'll give you a little shout out. And then, yeah, comment what other stocks or, I mean, uh, you know, videos you'd like to see on the channel. But before we go ahead and get started, hit that alert button because you do not want to miss what I got going on this week. I'm uploading uh, not only the Stock Wars video, but I'm also uploading a live trading video. I know you guys are used to people saying, hey, I made $50,000. This is how I did it. No, I'm going to show you in the process. If I made 10K, this is how I made it. And you'll see the Discord's reaction live, right? I've clicked that buy button. I clicked that sell button live on video instead of Oh, this is I got in here and then I got out there. It doesn't work like that. Let's let's be realistic. Also, please don't get scammed. Uh, you know, from the comments down below, uh, the WhatsApp. My YouTube is verified. I also only have three Instagram accounts: Nor Trades, Trade Like Nor, and Stock Hours. And I'll never ask you to hit me up on WhatsApp, and I'll never ask you for money. Also, if you guys want the Dubai vlog, I know a lot of people have been asking. This vlog needs to get 200 likes. If we don't get, I mean. This video needs to get 200 likes. If this video doesn't get 200 likes, we will not get a, that vlog until June or July, right? If we get 200 likes, I'll upload it April 2nd, which is next Sunday. So make sure you guys get those 200 likes, and then you guys will get that vlog. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. As you guys can see, it's the economic calendar. If you want a clearer picture, go to Trade Like Nor on Instagram, right? Don't I don't see a Fed meeting. Tuesday, we have international trade in goods, wholesale inventories, uh, home price index, FHFA, house price index, consumer confidence at 10 a.m. And then obviously Michael Barr speaks at 10 a.m. Wednesday, pending home sales index, State Street Investor Confidence Index, EIA Petroleum Status. Uh, Thursday gets interesting, GDP, jobless claims, um, you know, corporate profits, EIA, natural gas report. Uh, Fed balance sheet at 4.30 is pretty normal. And then Thomas speaks at 12.45. Now Friday, you have personal income, and outlays, Chicago PMI, and consumer sentiment. Actually, those two are actually during you know market open, the first 15 and 30 minutes of the day. So be careful with that. Now, earnings for this week, not really too much interested, especially for what I like. I mean, you have Tuesday of Lululemon. I guess if you guys like stocks that move on earnings, possibly Micron Technology. And then after that, I really don't care. I mean, if you want a clear picture, just go to trade like Norm. I mean, Thursday, you have skills. But yeah, other than that, I'm not really a fan of anything. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this video here with the stocks that I love, right? Now, first of all, Netflix. If you guys follow me on Trade Like Nor, you'll see Friday morning, I told you this is what I'm going to take in the morning. And look what it did from 320 to 328. Imagine what those contracts did and then imagine how much I made. So, uh, just you know, you guys got to, there's a reason why I, tell, I don't tell you guys to follow me because I want to entertain you guys. I'm telling, I'm telling you guys to follow me so you guys don't miss these banger plays, right? So Netflix, on the last Sunday Stock Watch List, and I posted it on my Twitter and Instagram. So my Twitter is real nor Adder, and it's the real verification, not the fake one. Um, and yeah, that, that obviously went crazy. Now, is Netflix on the watch list this week? It is. Now, let me show you what I'm looking at on Netflix. Now, I'm watching this 330 level up to 331, obviously, because the high is 331.83. I put this on the four hour. You guys can see we broke this channel to the upside. Now, forget about indicators. I know you guys keep looking for indicators or a group of indicators that'll help you trade. If there was a group of indicators that told you the answer when to get in, everybody would be a billionaire. So let's be realistic. Let's be smart, guys. Stop disappointing me. Now, how do you know Netflix actually broke out? Right back to tape reading. This is what I do. Look at the volume down here on the channel break on the four hour. Look at the volume compared to the volume, for example, here or for the example here. Two times, three times the volume. You have to pay attention to it. Thursday was the official breakout, broke up to 320, and then Friday from 320 to over 330. Now look at the volume again. 
So you have to pay attention to those things. I am watching Netflix to the upside. I'm watching three, the new high into 335, into 340. Now, I do want to be careful a little bit, bit, a little bit because on the one hour, you have a channel, and this could be the retest of the channel. Yes, it's very strong until it gets into this you know, reject area. We get rejected off 343, and you're holding, and it comes right back down. So be careful. I'll probably use 340 uh, as my next you know, area. There's also... A, a mini gap over here. It looks very small, but from 331 up to, looks to like 333. It looks like we've already filled it, actually. We've had like a dollar left, but yeah. Netflix definitely something that I'm watching. Look at this, up 2.5% on the day on Friday. Spy was up about 0.6%, and then the NASDAQ was up a half a percent, maybe. So yeah, Netflix definitely a big one that I'm watching for this week. Now, another one that I'm watching... But it most likely won't happen um, is NVIDIA. The reason I say that is because it was red on Friday, $4, which is kind of disappointing when you want to watch. But look at this. On the one year, even if I put this on the four hour, you guys can see this uptrend is so beautiful. Look at this. Even if I keep going shorter and shorter. Look at this one hour trend. We finally broke it. Now, that does not mean NVIDIA can't come right back to 275. If we do come back to 275, NVIDIA is very strong. I'll be playing this into 280, um, and I would love to catch NVIDIA. But for right now, it looks like as if it's not going to happen, but I always have to mention it just in case it comes by surprise this week. So I am watching NVIDIA to the upside, but it may not happen. There's a good chance it doesn't happen this week. Another stock that's usually on the watch list that I'll add here, even though there's nothing much going on, is Tesla. I don't really like it, honestly. It's down $2 on a Friday when Netflix is up 8 Apple's green. You know, what else is green? Meta is green. So definitely disappointing to see that. But if we do get a Tesla play, I am watching the 200 break to the upside. If we get the 200 break, we should get a squeeze on um, that day. And then from there, uh, we'll see what Tesla is actually capable of. Now, downside, I'm not interested until we get to that 170 level, personally. I know a lot of you are gonna try to play the you know 180 break and you know all that good stuff. I'll wait for 170 personally. So if Tesla doesn't do anything and stays in this area, it's gonna be a, a long quarter for me because I won't be touching Tesla. So yeah, 200 to the upside. You know you see it in that channel as well. So definitely something that I'm watching. So right now we have you know Netflix, Tesla. We went over Nvidia. Something I'll show you guys real quick. Um, are a couple gap plays that you guys are going to be interested in. I'm not really too interested in these two, but you know, I bring them up because I know you guys love gap plays. So I'll show you guys what I'm looking at. If I put this on the four hour, you guys can see this 283 level. Now, if I put this on the one year, you'll see there's a two dollar gap from 282.30 up to about 285.50. So you got a double gap, which is very rare, it's hard to find these. So that's pretty cool. You have a 283 gap up to 285. About a $2 gap for any of my gap players. Some people just wait for gaps um, throughout the week and play those. So that's cool. Microsoft, that's definitely something I'll be watching to play. It's not like I'm definitely not playing it. But Google, same thing here. You guys can see uh, this has a gap above, I believe, 108. Yeah, 108 up to like 109 and change. So it's about a $2 gap, which is a lot for Google. As you can see, Friday was only down 16 cents. So the stock doesn't move much as, you know, before because of that split. But yeah, Google's definitely something I'm watching. Uh, I probably won't play that most likely. That's a greater chance I won't play. Microsoft is something I can play. Amazon is also something my interns are looking at. If you take a look here. This thing has been kind of, you know, kicking it in an area here. Would I play this? Maybe. But what am I looking at on Amazon if it does come my way? I am looking at this 101 level. If we end up breaking 101, we have a room up to 102, then 103.50. Now, we had, why am I looking at 101? There's just a flat top here. And even when we got above, we whipped below. So, yeah, 101 is just something I'm watching on Amazon just because you can see it's a... It's definitely a resistance on this, and it hasn't been able to get above. If we don't get it, we don't get it. It's also a slow mover. As you can see, Friday, it was only down 58 cents. Now, something else that I'm watching here is Meta, right? Meta is something I'm watching, but it's very choppy right now. And usually these patterns, I know a lot of you guys like these because it's an uptrend, blah, 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 blah. But if you put this, like, for example, on a 30-minute, these, you know, uptrends usually... You know result in a break of it and it ends up coming to the downside so these are usually downside plays 
uh, when you have these uptrends or these, you know, these wedges here that look like this, usually, usually it ends up in the downtrend. And if we ever actually make a high, we have another channel here that's going to, you know, run into some resistance at 2884. So what I'm looking at to do with Meta is kind of just stay away from this funny area and waiting for that 210 level personally, right? I'd rather just wait for that 210 level, let it come to me. And then from there, I can actually see if this breaks out or not. You know, after 210, we should get going here. Um, and it's been a long time coming, as you guys can see. This thing is at $88 about, what, three months ago? What month was that? Yeah, that was November, it looks like. So definitely a long time coming here, and it's 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 performing well in the market, even with this uh, area that it's getting stuck at. So that's meta. You know, last thing I'm looking at is AMD. I'm personally definitely not interested in this but interns are interested i would kind of stay away from this right they like this i'm gonna tell you why i don't we have this uptrend it broke above on the one year and then it breaks below and the candle closes below i don't like when candles start doing this now i do like let's say we broke out here and the next candle was this where we bounce off this trend and it shows that it's respecting that trend i just don't like when this these small stocks start doing weird stuff like this also, this, th this stock was down $2.33, which is 2% uh, versus the market being on the uptrend. So, I know what's going to happen if the market gets red. You know, AMD is gone. So, something that I'm watching or, or interns are watching, I'm not interested. And I just showed you why I'm interested. Sometimes I'll show you a stock on why someone likes it and I don't or why I like it and others don't. But, yeah, AMD is definitely not something that I like for the week. But, yeah, that's my watch list for this week. At least me getting prepared and putting the pieces and puzzles together. But for the rest of the week, it'll be on Trade Like Nord, just like what I did with Netflix. I actually have more fun with that. Something to pay attention to. And make sure you guys hit the 200 likes uh, because that'll be the Dubai vlog for April 2nd. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, you know, Sunday stock watch list. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.